today it's about money making on the Rev Caves. One of the best methods to make money on the RuneScape because Revenants can drop a lot of higher items and you can make money doing PvP or just NTPK. But on my opinion, the best way is just killing the revs and wait till someone appears. Of course, if you are a very higher combat, you will be attacked so much more because there's a lot of peculiars over there. But my first hint to you guys is not bringing anything so valuable because you only bring to the wilderness items that you are okay to lose, you know. So, as you can see, my most valuable item it is the Amulet of Everice. I don't care if I lose the other items, if I lose the Bracelet, the Dragon Scimitar, the Crossbow, I don't care. Those items uh, doesn't cost that much, but the Amulet it is a little bit higher price. So, if I die, I will protect it, but the other items is okay. So. When you are going to the wilderness, you must know that every time someone will log close to you, someone will appear and teleblock you and try to kill you, you must be prepared every single second to fight if you need. And the most valuable height I will give to you is to bring at least a two combat style on the wilderness. You cannot win a fight if you bring just one. If you are ranging, just a ranger weapon, you will not kill anyone because in PvP on the member world, everyone, everyone will will put to protect the style base you are using. So you need at least two styles because when the fight starts, he will put the protect, will switch the weapon and hit it and. Keep doing the, that until you kill it or die, you know. And don't be sad if you die too much because killing revs it is risky and of course you will always be attacked first. You cannot, if you are not going to PvP, you are, uh, you know, on a risk situation. Every time can someone appears and of course he will attack you first. So you must let your hit points always high do not not, not let the hit points going lower because if you it appears a rusher it can kill you really fast other hint i can give you guys is about the loot bag this loot bag is impressible it is so good because it works like a second inventory but it has a problem with it because if you die on the wilderness doesn't care if it is an available item or your protect item if you die with the loot pack you will lose all the items and doesn't care if you try to do something so once the item is on loot bag you only can get the items on the bank so if you get something really good that costs really high on the wilderness close the bag and get the items i will show you what happens to me about an hour ago then uh, uh, before i decide to to do the video <laughs> And as you can see, I get the crawlable and I don't put it on the loot bag because I wasn't prepared to lose it. If because when I get the item, someone could appear and teleblock me and you know fuck me, and I can't let this happen. So I just get the item on the Vitar because if I die, I will lose the amulet and will protect the other items, and that's okay. So take care of the loot bag because sometimes can screw you other thing that's cool to do is if you are using the run light just put the mining map on because you can you know zoom in or out and this will increase your view 
and if someone appears you will solo it pretty much fast than the others and I really recommend you guys to use the, the plugin so other thing that is important is the quick prayer you always need to set up the quick prayers if you are using range or melee just put the, the of course the protect item protect from mage because every time someone appears it will be probably a mage trying to you know trying to tether block you and bind you and that's pretty annoying so if you saw him first you can activate the quick prayer and this could give you a chance to escape and that's it i think that's pretty much the all i gotta say you guys i hope you guys enjoy it leave a like subscribe and have fun and good fucking luck on the drops